Welcome back everyone. Today before I go out on the water, I wanted to share with y'all a quick test that I did. Actually, it was nothing quick about it. It took me the course of three months to actually test out and see what kind of power I was getting from my batteries. I've had a few questions concerning the batteries that I use. This is one of them, which is by far the best. And then you've got this little one right here, which it'll get the job done, but does not provide enough power. And then this one right here is good enough as well. We'll start with the one that really didn't uh, provide me with much use, which is the 12 volt, nine amp hour. Uh, I'm running the Lowrance Elite 7 Ti on 100% brightness and also powering the batteries for the GoPro. Uh, with this little guy, I was only able to get approximately four hours of use out there on the water and this uh, 9 amp hour just was not getting it done. For the Elite 4 DSi, my old fish unit, uh, I was able to get quite a bit of use out of it because it didn't draw that much power. So if you're using something that's small and doesn't have the side scan and all the fancy bells and whistles, then that one will definitely get it done. Stepping up to the 18 amp hour battery, this one will provide you with 11 hours of use. And then we step over to the big boy, this one right here, the AGM. This one's a 32 amp hour battery. Uh, it's made by East Pin Manufacturing. I'm gonna leave the uh, link and phone number in the description below to be able to get in touch with these guys if you're interested in purchasing this battery. This thing. Oh my goodness, it's gonna give you like around 30 plus hours of use and that it's a beast. Uh, it weighs 15 pounds approximately and uh, it's just a sheer beast to be able to power that unit right there on 100% brightness. Um, I recommend, highly recommend it. it. It is a great battery. If you're gonna be running lights, uh, the LEDs, uh, it's gonna be able to take just about anything, you know, you can, as far as a load that you can put on it, it's gonna work. But uh, all three of them are great batteries. They serve their purpose for different types of use. This one right here is, I, I don't use it anymore. I use it for the Pro Angler if I ever decide to go out there on that thing because it's running the Elite 4. But for the Elite 7, you're gonna wanna use this if you're just doing a day trip, maybe even a weekend trip, 11 hours of use. This one right here, if you're going off the grid for a while, then that's definitely the battery to use. What's inside the box whenever you purchase this thing? You have the charger itself, alligator clips, and then the, I don't know what you call these right here, but that's for placing them on a post like that. Let's plug this into the wall outlet. There it is, everybody. She is charging. After all the fishing that we've been doing today, the 12 volt 18 amp hour battery has lasted all three days without being recharged and it's still got a little bit of juice left in it. I'm gonna... It's 10 a.m. and this is day one using the 18 amp hour battery. This is uh, run number two, my third run with the 18 amp hour battery. And this is day one. This is the third run, day two, using the 18 amp hour battery. On average, we've been getting about 11 hours out of this. This is day one using the Intimidator. This was day three using the Intimidator battery. The same battery. So close to five hours. I don't know. All right, so the battery just died. 28 hours is what this battery lasted. I just noticed that the Lowrance has died and that's because the battery has been going at it for 28 plus hours. All right, so that's all I've got. Just wanted to share that information with you all really quick. Uh, if you like the video, give me that thumbs up. Anything that you have to say about any of these, then uh, leave me a comment down below. And until next time, tight lines.